Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. Today we're going to test what pressure our 35 litre inflatable floats can take. We've done this many years ago and we were happy with the results then. Uh, that's a new one, that's a second hand one I just pulled off the boat. We fill it with water so that it doesn't explode catastrophically and then we pump it up with a garden hose. At the moment I'm letting the air out, this is predominantly full of water. We can't use air because air will explode uh, as it's pressurized, will explode catastrophically. Water, not a problem. And there we go, now we got water coming out. We don't want any air inside here. Push the valve up to the top, so just water is coming out. I'm going to fill it a bit more and then redo that. So, that's the pressure we have now on our tap. That's about 450, it's not fully on, so that's the actual garden hose line. That is just shy of 500 kilopascals. There we go, back to filling. I'll do another purge before we actually pressurize it. Excuse all the background noises. This is our back entrance to our factory premises. There's cars and grinding going on. I'm now doing the second purge just to make sure. Tilting the valve right to the highest point, making sure no bubbles and letting out a bit of water. That's clear, no air. There we go. As mentioned before, we don't want to use air. Air is compressible and this will be quite a violent explosion at uh, a couple of bar. So now we're going to continue with just water until it explodes. The tap is now off. We're at max capacity of water. We're now going to pressurize it with the tap pressure. As mentioned before, we get close to five bar. And I'm going to slowly open it and let the pressure build up and we'll see it where it blows quite far for us to see. I'm standing away. I don't want to get wet. Uh, it shouldn't be too catastrophic, but we'll see. It's starting to leak at the valve. It's not the fabric phase, it's the valve. It's crazy, that's five bar. I never thought that good that strong. Well, I'm shutting it down because there's no point. We don't have any more pressure. We'd have to get a pumped one. So that was very interesting. We started making these several years ago. In that time, the, our gluing techniques and fabric have changed subtly, and that has definitely increased them. The previous ones, when we first built them, they failed at about three bar. So we split that in half and rated them at 1.5 bar. We were a bit skeptical about going higher than that. There are floats out there that do say they're two and three bar, but at five bar, this did not blow. Our tap pressure is only five bar. We can't get it greater than that without putting an inline pump in, which is now the next step. We need to blow this and see where it goes. In the meantime, it's still releasing water and uh, the pressure's right down, so now I can empty it. Well, oh, there you go. Old second hand float off the boat, still good as new. Just pulled off the pipe and uh, as you can see, still a lot of back pressure. Um, this fabric has quite a stretch to it, but the actual pressure is way down. 